Hey guys, Fox with Tiger Force, and I have a uh, pretty big deal, I guess, to share with everybody. Um, let me click over to the enemy. This is the second, or actually more than the second time. The last two wars have been like this, but we've had other wars like this ever since the last Supercell update. And this is, uh, this is huge. This is the change of the game. And I want to explain what I'm talking about here. So, um, okay. When you, what happened, Supercell recently came out with an update where, um, look at this, this is a Town Hall 7, okay? There are three air defenses. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but if it doesn't, we all have very short-term memories because Town Hall 7s used to only have two air defenses. Why is that a big deal? Well, because when you're a Town Hall 7, before you upgrade to Town Hall 8, that means that you can now have three level 5 air defenses. So... This is human. This is huge. I remember a year ago playing with my friends, and they were max town hall eights, and we had many wars. We were very successful, but the but the thing was, when we had a town hall eight that had three level six air defenses, and this was before blowers, when we had three level six air defenses. We would say, oh, that's not a dragon base, that's a hog base. And usually there were three, maybe four Town Hall 8s at the very top that were maxed. And the reason why is because at Town Hall 7, you could only have two level 5 air defenses. So when you went to Town Hall 8, you had to take a whole air defense all the way from 0 up to level 6, and you had to take two other town, uh, level 5 air defenses up to level 6. It took a long time. So you had a whole bunch of Town Hall 8s all the way up to the very top at, you know, you know maybe two level 5s, one level 3. You were looking at, it was like level 7, air, level seven um, bases now. So what this has done is it's completely changed the way that we use um, troops in war. Because we used to always just live in dragons. Dragons would be able to guarantee three stars in Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8 range every single time. I would commonly, as a war strategist, say, you know, Town Hall 8s destroy their Town Hall 8s. I didn't even have to think about it. Because, you know, all the dragons could kill the Town Hall 7s. All the dragons could kill the Town Hall 8s. I only had to start worrying when we started getting into Town Hall 9s and 10s and 11s. Well, actually, back then it was just 9s and 10s. So now that we have this issue where um, we have what, what we used to consider um, completely impossible bases for dragons. We used to say if they're three level six air defenses, it's complete suicide to attack with dragons. Don't do it. Let a town hall nine drop down or let someone who's really good at hogs attack it. So the problem here is this. Within a week after going to Town Hall 8, that was a brand new Town Hall 8, but within a week of going to Town Hall 8, you can have three level 6 air defenses. What that means is, with the right base design, that is a completely anti-dragon. By the way, that was a horrible base design. This is not the right base design. But this base design um, right here is a little bit better. Um, you have an anti-dragon base. Now let's take a look at uh, their number 22 because if I recall, um, our number 14, which is Milton, a phenomenal attacker, he had to take this guy down after multiple hits. And the reason why is because it was just an anti-dragon design with three level 6 airdies. You cannot touch that with dragons. You have to realize when there's an anti-dragon design. If you look at a base and think, man, how am I going to take this down with dragons? And you can't come up with a really solid way, pass. Do not attack that base. That is probably an anti-dragon base. And at three level six air defenses, traditionally, that was always thought to be a base you could not attack with dragons. Now, the problem is the only way we could attack it were with hogs and now Valkyrie. They've become very, very successful. Now, the problem is hogs and Valkyrie take a long time to upgrade. So what this means is when you first turn into a Town Hall 8, do nothing with your other defenses. Do not touch them except for Airdies and Sweepers. Get the Airdies to level 6 right away. Upgrade your Sweeper right away and then focus on troops with your Elixir, Clan Castle with the gold, and then walls with the gold. Do not upgrade your defenses. If you upgrade your defenses, you're pairing us higher. You're bringing more of these difficult Town Hall 8s in against us in war. And the problem is, until you have level 4 hogs, you have no viable attack against these 
anti-dragon bases. So, upgrade your hogs, upgrade your Valkyrie, upgrade those air defenses before anything else, and then hit those walls. Because, I'm sorry, go wipe lovers, it's a great attack, but but you have a, just as much of a chance of defeating a base with dragons when they have three level six Aerides, which is about 40%, as you do with a go wipe against purple walls. If they have purple or higher walls, you have about a 40% chance of defeating that base, even with a very well executed go wipe attack. So my suggestion would be hogs and Valkyrie type attacks when you get up to that upper Town Hall 8 range where you can actually start using those. Now, here's the frustrating part of being, about being a Town Hall 8, which this just sucks. I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of like being a Town Hall 9 right now. You only have about a 50% chance, maybe 60, once you get the execution down, of defeating a base with Hogs and Valkyrie. They are still not guaranteed attacks. The guaranteed attacks that we used to have with dragons are completely gone. Supercell killed it. They slayed the dragon when they gave three air defenses up to level five on Town Hall 7s. They just completely killed them. Now, that means that war has become a lot more interesting. We can't just get, expect three stars up to Town Hall 9 anymore. It's just not the case. What we're going to have to rely on is um, if it's a non-anti-dragon uh, design, then maybe we have some people that can take the, uh, you know, the base. But if we don't, what that means is cards, our level 9, had or, or rank 9 had to take down uh, their 17. Um, Digger, our Town Hall 9, had to take down the last one. Uh, Dag, our number 12, had to take down their 16. I mean, we need, what I'm getting at is, we need... Town Hall 8s, now this is a Town Hall 9 attacking their Town Hall 8. We need our Town Hall 8s to diversify once you get up in rank to be able to run Hogs. We need you to run Hogs. We need you to learn Valk. We need you to learn the current attacks that can defeat these anti-dragon bases. And we need to stratify our clan correctly. And what stratification means is that you should never have too many of one base type. Because like right now, we need our 9s to drop down to take the tough 8s. We need our 8s now, which we've never had to before, but we need our 8s now to drop down to the 7s to take out their tough 7s. Because just like the 8s are struggling with the upper 8s, the 7s are struggling with the upper 7s. That was never the case before. Supercell has balanced the game. They've made stratification necessary all the way down to Town Hall 7. So... War just got a whole lot more complicated. It got a whole lot more difficult. Town Hall 7s and 8s have never had to deal with frustration before when it came to defeating their own kind. But it's happening now. So let's get intelligent. Let's let's do the right thing. Um, let us know if you have questions. Um, let's comment on this. This is a new philosophy. But I think I'm on the right track here. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, again, we got to stay sharp. We got to stay current. We have to adapt to survive, and if we do that, we will continue to crush our enemy and we'll become smarter and better in war every single time. Thanks, guys. Look forward to warring with you.